Hello and welcome to One More Pain. Today I'm talking about the Lamy All Star. I have this version here. It's the uh, petrol version. It's a special edition, I think. And um, it is the aluminium version of the Safari. Uh, I previously talked about the Safari and the Vista. And um, I'll be comparing the All Star then um, to the Safari, um, the, the normal one. The main difference between the two pens being that this one is aluminium or aluminum, depending on your persuasion. And um, the normal Safari is a plastic version. Even though um, it's plastic, there are different versions. And um, you wouldn't think that it makes a big difference, but, but it does. Um, I found that the, the, one of the Safaris that I recently got, the, um, what is it, the Violet Blackberry? Violet Blackberry? Yeah, it, it, it has a different texture on the section. It has a more of a grippy, uh, matte uh, section as compared to what is usually um, the very shiny gloss section on the safaris. And it makes a big difference. So even, even the Lamy Safari, even the plastic versions, it's not just the colors that differ. Um, there are some other differences sometimes and that does make a difference. Um, I think in your experience, the writing experience with a pen. But today the focus is on this one, on the All Star. Um, there are a few very subtle differences apart from the fact that it's a metal pen. There are some other very subtle differences and I think it's worth having a closer look at it. So we'll do that. We'll look at the pen. I'll do a writing sample as well. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. I appreciate your support as always. So let's head over to the table there and welcome back and we're having a closer look at the Lamy All Star. This is the petrol edition. Um, this is the first All Star that I got um, and I think I might, I might uh, add a few to my collection at some point. But I wanted to know what the difference really is between the All Star and the Safari and I do have a Safari here and we can have a closer look and do a little bit of a comparison. The first obvious thing being that the Safari is plastic and the All Star is made of aluminium. Something that I didn't notice initially um, and I don't have anything to precisely measure but the barrel, the, th the thickness of the barrel on the All Star is it's a little bit thicker than the normal safari and the same on the cap if you have a look over there you can see that you've got a little bit more body here on the cap than on the safari and what this means is that you just have a tiny little bit extra um, in the hand a little bit more extra pen in the hand when you write and i think the difference is very subtle but it's a difference that you that you do feel. So side by side comparison, dimensions are very much the same, except for what I just mentioned about the All Star being slightly thicker in the um, the barrel. The when we open them up, when we compare the sections, well. The safaris typically you have the it's a very typical gloss um, section same color as the barrel but on the all-star we immediately have a difference they come in this smoky black transparent section which is a very nice touch because you can see the ink inside but it's not like the Vista that's entirely transparent let me just get I do have a Vista here um, although this one is I filled this up last time but you can see the difference in a between a transparent section and this smoky black section now you can you can exchange them um, I've done that before and you can have some really interesting combinations that way now on this one I have a fine nib uh, this is not the nib that came with this pen. This came with a normal uh, steel medium nib, but I got the fine nib when I bought a uh, Lonnie Safari Special Edition, the Blackberry Violet, came with a black nib. So I fitted the black nib on here, 
um, haven't used it yet, but I think it goes really well with the section. What do you think? I think it's a nice touch. Let me know in the comments. And so we unscrew the barrel. Nothing fancy, nothing new here, nothing we haven't already seen. This is a uh, this is a Lamy converter, but it's not the one with the with the two studs over there that uh, fit uh, into that um, part of the section. Oh well, it doesn't really make a difference. They all work pretty well. I'm not going to spend too much time on the rest of the pen. I think most people know the Safari, and so you know this one. The finial at the top is the same as the Safari. It's plastic and black plastic in this case. At, at the bottom, we have a slight difference in the way the finial looks over there, but still very much the same. Cap and the clip, it is the same. Right, no other real differences. So I'm going to ink this up and we'll do a writing sample. And what I think I'll be using is Diamine Denim. It's an ink I haven't used much, but it's a, it's a very nice ink. And uh, I think it will go nice with the color of this pen. So let's do that. Now I wonder if I'm going to be able to do this with a very narrow neck on this bottle. This will be interesting to see if this is going to work. It will work. It's a very tight fit, but it will work. Let me just do a second time so that we get enough ink in the section. Wow, it almost got stuck there. Right. And let me just wipe this down, get rid of any excess ink. Um, almost impossible to do this without getting ink on your fingers. I don't know how anybody else does it, but I accepted that that is just part of the process. Right, and with it being inked up, you can see the ink through the barrel, um, the section, sorry, through the section, but not a, not a lot to see because it's a smoky black. You, you can see the ink in there, but it's not like you can see the color of the ink or anything like that. All right, time for a writing sample. And for the writing sample, I'll be using my Rhodia dot pad as usual. Just really excellent paper. No reason to use anything else really. And this is the Lamy Safari um, Aluminium All-Star Petrol Edition. So let's see, this would be the first time I'm using um, this pen with the fine nib. And that is decently wet. Really, really nice. And the ink is diamine denim. The for a fine nib, this is a really smooth nib. It's a really nice writer. Um, really comfortable. Do you get any line variation out of these nibs? I, you know, sometimes a little bit, but not really, as you can see. I think it's a pretty consistent nib. It's a hard steel nib. I wouldn't push it too hard. So I think it's, it's fine the way that it is. Let's do some more writing.
Well, fortunately this is not about my handwriting, but um, I don't know how much you can tell, but it's, it's, I mean, you can hear the feedback of the nib. It has quite a bit of feedback, but it's a pleasant kind of feedback. The nib is not scratchy at all. It's actually quite smooth for a fine. Um, I'm quite surprised by how smooth this nib really is. So this is the Lamy All Star Petrol Edition. Uh, if I compare this to the Safari, is it worth it? Um, there is a, a bump in price going from the Safari to the All Star. But I have to say the, the All Star does feel a bit more premium. It has a little bit more of a thickness to the pen and you can feel that in the hand. It doesn't make a huge difference, but it, it is felt. I, I do feel the difference. Um, it has a different feel to it in terms of the texture. I think it's a little bit, it feels like it's more finished. It's a little bit smoother on the edges. I like that the section is, well, not transparent, but, but a smoky black transparent. It adds, um, I think, a little bit more of a, um, I wouldn't say character, but it, it I don't know, it, it makes it feel a little bit more, less casual, you know. Um, and it also, if you add one of the black nibs to it, it, it really fits well with the section, which I think is a nice touch. So I do think that the All Star, it's, it is a bump in price. It's not a huge bump in price. I think it's maybe justifiable. Um, I don't like all of the colors in which these pens are uh, released, but this one is very nice. And if you have an ink that pairs really nicely with the with the pen, although a lot of people don't really care about that, but it's just something that I naturally try to do is to match the ink and the pen. And when you get something that works, it just feels right. So all in all, this is a really nice pen. I would recommend it. I think. Um, what makes it so much um, easier and, and you know to, to have fun with these pens is that it's so easy to exchange the nibs. Um, and you can put any kind of nib on these pens and uh, it means that this isn't just one pen. And I think that's probably the big difference between the Lamy Safari range and many of the other pens. You can get a Pilot Metropolitan for much cheaper and it's a pen with excellent bold quality, really consistent really really good quality but um, you cannot really exchange the nibs you only get a medium I don't I think you get a fine but I've never seen them but um, with the Lamy Safari range with the All Star you just get so much variety and that makes it a really fun thing to have well there you go that is the All Star next time I will be having a closer look at the LX I think and um, yes, if you like my content, please like and subscribe. I appreciate the support always. And I will see you next time. Thank you. Keep well. Mm -hmm.